Now, let's go into it, give us one by one uh, product and let's find out what's the product that we can remove a permanent marker. Are you ready? I'm so excited to find out because I really want to get rid of the marker and reuse those ones for any other purposes. So let's go right into it. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I was thinking to, you know, to clean up those uh, wheels. I have two of them. And yeah, if you don't know, I have a small business which I'm running out and definitely I use those a lot. And now because I don't need them just like so, uh, I want to do something else. Definitely I need to get rid of this writing from it. And yeah, if you don't know, uh, check out our shop. I need to clean it up. And uh, I posted a video on TikTok where I was asking people, uh, yeah, to let me know if they have any idea how to clean up this wheel. As uh, so yeah, definitely I have no idea. But now because those people told me to use certain things, items, definitely I will go into it. And definitely I want to let you know as well if they work. And yeah, how we can clean up this wheel. If you as well facing the same problem like me, watch this video, it might help you out and make sure to watch it till the end. And definitely if it's useful and you like it, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. So I took all the stuff that I had in the house and definitely I will let you know what stuff I'm going to use. And yeah, let's see if I can find out which one works and I can go ahead and clean it all. So uh, the people from TikTok recommend me to use alcohol, well, sanitizer, hand sanitizer, mist spray. I will keep them in here, one uh, next to each other. Fairy. Then I've got a cleaning product, which is the tall vinegar, acetone or nail polish remover, spirit, perfume. I've got a proper alcohol, which is 99% alcohol. It's stronger than the hand sanitizer. And then people recommend me to use this one, which I believe this will be the one working because I bought it. I didn't find it in the house. Got a toothpaste as well, Vaseline, and the last thing that we really need is roll paper. I'm gonna start by grabbing some toilet paper and definitely I'm gonna fold it just like so. And now which one to be the first one? So I'll get first the vinegar. So as you can see, I'm using vinegar. I'm just gonna pour a bit, just like so, into my paper. If I need more, I'm gonna add more later, but let's see first if it works. Nope, so vinegar is removing actually something but doesn't go away at all. So next I'm gonna be using the multiple pass cleaner which mine is from the tall but yeah doesn't matter. I'm gonna fold it like so and spray the roll paper and yeah as you can see I have it properly wet. So I'm gonna try the same color, it's the blue one. And let's see if something comes off. I should stop here because this will take ages for me to clean up. So it's better to stop now. Otherwise I'll be till next year cleaning it up and try to remove the marker with uh, the cleaning product. As you can see, I have something. So a bit of marker uh, came off, but definitely is not what I want. I need to remove it all of it at once. I mean, I don't have to spend that much uh, time to remove it. So definitely this all is down, doesn't work. Next product that I'm gonna try is isopropyl alcohol, which is 99.9% .9 just pure alcohol 
which definitely is a strong one. So this is the one that I'm going to be using now. So let's grab something first. And let's see. I'm just curious because this is a strong one and it should be working. Oops, I put more than it should be. But yeah, that's fine. Same, I'll go in the blue one. So this is the one. Ashley, look at me. It's coming off with uh, alcohol, but doesn't go off so easily. You have to still wipe and wipe and wipe and wipe, wipe. Actually, working better than the other product. So I'm gonna keep this one here next to me. <sighs> next one, I'm not sure how to use this one to be honest, because this is fading. And definitely we use this one just to wash the dishes. So I'm not too sure if this one will actually work. But let's find out. I'll have plenty of bubbles. That's what I'm thinking. So I believe here will be lots of bubbles. But I don't know. Let's put just a bit because I don't want to uh, have lots of bubbles. Or yeah, something like that. I just put a drop. And I'm going to try the purple one now because the blue one already it's wiped off, not, in, uh, not properly, it's just a bit. And this is all I can get off from there. So as you can see something comes off, but definitely I'll be wiping it off till next year. So. Fady? No. Now I'm going to be moving to a different product where I'm going to be using Mona. So Mona is a spirit. So is the sanitizer alcohol. Let's use this one. I'm going to pour a bit just to start with. Oops. I definitely pour too much and I'm gonna still go on the purple one yeah so just watch the purple color to see what's happening should I try more than that I think no I think I should stop here I'm keep pushing it and it's going away so as you can see it has removed something, but it's not something that we want to remove a permanent marker. And definitely I don't want to stay ages to remove it. So definitely Mona, it's something that we don't have to use it because it doesn't work to remove a permanent marker. Next, I'm gonna be using a body mist. Here we go, that's the one. So I'm gonna be using a body mist because it contains alcohol as well. And let's see if this one works or not. So just give me a second to grab some paper. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray a bit. Oh, it actually smells so good. I just find it in my wardrobe and it's full of roses. Smell, you know the fresh rose? So it's smelling similar with rose water. So that's the best. Mm, so good. Oh gosh. Are we actually cleaning the wheel or what are you doing? Good. So yeah, let's go into it because otherwise I will uh, keep filming uh, for so long. And I bet you don't want to be stuck in here to watch this video for so, so long, is it? So I'll try my best. <laughs> to be a short video not that long <sighs> gosh so hot not easy at all but definitely something came off with the body mist as well I won't continue to use because it's quite hard so body mist no and sanitizer, well, this is the one that I'm going to be using now to find out if my permanent marker goes off. So I'm just going to have some on my paper and I actually put quite a lot. 
let's see I'm still using you know the purple uh, in the air the purple one so keep watching the purple one to see if it's coming off now so I have only a little in here but as you can see some of it it just went off definitely hand sanitizer doesn't work no next one I'm gonna be using the nail polish remover it's the strong one it smells so strong so I'm just gonna put a bit more so yeah I just poured a bit I'm not sure if you're able to see it but yeah I'm gonna still uh, work on the purple color yeah so keep watching the purple color and from what I can see and you as well nothing comes off nothing comes off no it's not going for me to continue because we don't have nothing in here so nothing comes off and I believe it's kind of evaporating in the meantime that I'm trying to remove it and yeah it's not something that we want so definitely nail polish remover doesn't work I'm gonna try the perfume because we used uh, the body mist earlier now I'm gonna be using a perfume so this is a perfume that I got and let's try it out and see if actually does something so let me grab my paper and I'm gonna start by spraying a bit on it should I keep should I <laughs> I think this is enough. So keep watching the purple color. I can see some that went off and it actually works. It's actually coming off, most of it. So yeah, as you can see, this one it did a really good job. So we removed something, but definitely the perfume works. I'm not too sure if this one will work or not, but definitely I'll be trying Vaseline now. So how I'm gonna do with this one, I really don't know, but let's figure it out somehow. So let me grab the paper and I think with my hand finger, I'll go inside and get some Vaseline out I think this will be enough let's figure it out I am doing just like so just wiping my finger of Vaseline I have it in here so now let's do the red one so keep watching the red one I'm gonna be working on a red one from here I think I have too much Vaseline oh gosh this is the worst thing that I have ever used no no don't try this at home I do not want you to try the Vaseline at all and why I'm saying that is just because Vaseline is Vaseline it's so oily and you will spend quite a long time just to try and wipe it off so no 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 it's uh, good that I didn't continue anymore because otherwise if it was to continue <sighs> definitely I had to spend a long time to remove it so don't do that at home Vaseline is the worst thing the toothpaste and this is the one that I have it in the house so this is the one that I'm using let me grab the paper and we have one more product to try so I'm just gonna put some toothpaste I'm not gonna put a lot I just did a bit and don't think that I'm brushing my teeth right now no definitely I'm just trying to remove a permanent marker from this wheel so let's wipe off still the red color yeah so let's do it 
I'm not complaining about toothpaste. It's something that at least it smells fresh, minty, but it's not something that we want. And uh, because it's like a cream, it's like, how can I say? Yeah, it's kind of cream uh, composition and it's just uh, breaking up my paper and doesn't do anything. So it just broke up my paper. Look at that. So no at all. Toothpaste is not the best one. So it actually doesn't remove anything. So don't use it. It should be the only one that will help me out to clean this permanent marker from the wheel. So this one, let's see if actually works. Oop, I'm gonna be using it. So it comes with something like that, which I believe this one, it should go somewhere inside like so, but I'm not gonna use it like that because I don't even know if it works or not. So I'm gonna be using only this one. Let me get some paper first. I'm gonna be uh, using the yellow color. So keep watching the yellow color from here and let's see if this one actually works. So I'm gonna be, ah, I'm just trying to acidulate it. So I'm not sure if it's foam inside or any liquid or something like that, but yeah, let's see. Oh. It's kind of liquid and it's so smelly. <laughs> it smells like gasoline. Definitely that's the word. And I can see that a lot it's coming off and it's the most uh, marker that came off than the other products that I've been using. But it still doesn't come off like it should be. Hold right way up and shake before use. Yeah, I've been shaking it. I don't know why. And I didn't even read the label. Turn the nozzle to be in line with the blue mark on the top of the can. Spray upright at an angle or even upside down. A stops, squeaks, drives out moisture, cleans and protects, loosens rusted parts, frees sticky mechanism. This is not something that should remove the permanent marker. Multi-use product. It doesn't say anything about, uh, you know, removing a permanent marker, but people recommended as well to use it because they said that it helped them. I was keep, uh, you know, rubbing so I can be able to remove it. Definitely I cut it from the video from there because it will uh, take long for this video for you to watch because I really want to be this one like new. definitely can't be new anymore but at least to be able to try something else this is the only one that actually worked and remove quite a lot of marker from my wheel as you can see on this side so this is the one that I've been using to remove the marker and definitely this is something that I do recommend you to use to remove the marker from the wheel so now, because we know that this one works, I will go ahead and clean this well. I was about to go ahead and clean up uh, the wheel with isopropyl alcohol, as I said. Uh, yes, but in the meantime, my husband just uh, arrived home and he said to me uh, to keep uh, trying uh, to use this one. And yeah, he said to me to uh, spray it on the wheel and leave it uh, there for about five minutes and see if after uh, all that uh, permanent marker will come off more easily. So that's what I'm gonna try to do now. Here we are, I brought some help. So here is my husband. Just needs a bit of pushing. So here it is, our powerful man, just trying to clean up the permanent marker with WT40. He keeps saying that is a really good spray, so I should keep, uh, you know, trying more harder to remove the permanent marker so because i don't have that much power i said that he will do it for me so here we are uh, 
uh, keep watching guys the end to see the final result So those are the final results. So yeah, as I said, uh, my husband helped me out to clean this well. These two products. And this is the final result for the first win. And don't forget that I have the second one to do the same. So the next video that I'm going to post, it will be the second wheel, how I'm cleaning up. So it took about... 10 minutes to clean up this wheel make sure to like and subscribe to my channel i'll see you in another video thanks for watching bye now